Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Official Vintage TV. Today we've got an exciting episode where we're going to be going through Tyler's collection. Um, this drop's going to be crazy. Um, probably one of our favorite drops or one of our best drops I've ever done at Official Vintage. Um, I've been getting a whole lot of DMs about this sweater. So I found these in a box under my bed. Um, I've got about 25 of them that I've been collecting for the last 10 years that I'm going to get rid of. Um, for Tyler's collection, so this is probably one of our craziest drops. I've got a whole bunch of different variations of this Adidas sweater, um, so this is going to be very good. We're going to go to my place, we're going to go open the box. I haven't opened the box in a while, that's why I've only just started wearing the sweater. But yeah, let's go to my place, let's show you guys everything that's going to be in Tyler's collection for this month. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, we're off. So we've just, um, even though I live like a minute away from the warehouse, or the store, got the whole lighting system in the back. So this is where we pretty much shoot all our podcasts and stuff. Um, but I'm super excited to show you guys this collection just because it's one of the things I collect. And um, yeah, so pretty much Adidas sweaters and Quicksilver stuff and I've decided to sell this all the stuff because there's been a lot of interest um, but yeah Why is there so many people in your building? <laughs> so many people all the time Can you take a photo of Alright I should probably do it neatly I reckon I'm just currently just getting this little everything set up so I can show you piece by piece what we're doing because there's a lot of Adidas. These are all like the individual ones. And then we got um, two similar ones, one I'm wearing now. But I want to go through these ones because you guys will want to see all the individual ones as well. But those are probably our two popularest ones. Popularist. So just to give you guys a background why we're doing this drop. Um, this is probably, I've been collecting these things for about 10 years now, uh, just roughly 10 years. Um, why I started collecting these Adidas sweaters in the first place is they're super rare, but the first one I ever got was in an op shop um, down the street from mine on the corner. It was a small little op shop, um, which I got my first ever Adidas sweater, which was one of these Olympics, uh, Winter Olympic sweaters. Uh, it's probably mo one of the most popular. These ones are probably going to sell out first. Um, but yeah, I caught one of those. I was super lucky. Um, yeah, you don't really find these too often. Um, pretty much I've been buying every single Adidas sweater for the last 10 years that I've seen that has all these big patches and embroidery. I'll show you the front and back of this one. Pretty crazy embroidery. This is probably the only one I'm going to keep just because it's such a good size. We've got a lot of XLs and larges in here, but pretty much these are pretty much the Olympics ones. And these are, um, there's some Olympic ones in here, but there's also just some um, cool Adidas with the all over print and some really good designs. A lot of the Winter Olympic stuff. But mostly with the Adidas stuff, they put a lot of effort into their garments back in the 90s. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of patches, a lot of colors, which you don't really see um, nowadays just because it's so expensive to do. Um, but yeah, they got cool embroidery. Even a lot of these ones have a lot of the arm embroidery as well. You got the arm embroidery and the back embroidery. Just the detail of the Adidas stuff back in the day was even way better than Nike. Um, it, even way better than Nike stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll go through piece by piece, which is going to be in Tyler's collection. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be probably the most craziest drop I've ever done. I'll say it again. Um, you're probably never going to see another company do a drop like this ever because it's that crazy. Um, but yeah, let's go through it piece by piece. Just so you guys get an idea of what's going to be in the drop and what I've you know, spent my hard earned time on. But the reason why I'm selling them is because I was wearing this one all week. Um, I pretty much found a box um, that I, because I'm currently moving, found a box of all these sweaters that I completely forgot about. And I was just thinking, oh, I might as well sell them just because people want them. And yeah, the stuff I sort of collect now is I sort of collect a lot of Quicksilver. So I just make a lot more room for that as well. But yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, my first two of the drop. I've started off with two bangers. This one's a super sick one with all the colors. Um, this is a sort of button up as well. But it's got all the cool colors. 
Um, yeah, and it's also got a back print, which is Melbourne, which is where our store is. Um, Melbourne, 1956. These are all 90s sweaters though. So I think they just would have reprinted it, pre-printed them in the 90s. And the detailing on this is crazy. So it says Olympic Games, Melbourne, November. And then we've also got another one of these in a different variation. This is a, just a normal sweater. Um, this got a cool colors on it as well. It has a sort of the same things as I was saying on the other sweater. It has the same back print, but it's, yeah, they're both pretty similar. Um, this is the back print of that one. All these um, sweaters are super boxy. As you can see, as you can see on me, they sort of tighten around the, the waist. Most of these sweaters are like that. But I think there's only one or two that are super wide on the bottom. But these are the two sweaters I wanted to start off with just because we're in Melbourne. And Melbourne's, Melbourne's the best, man. We love Melbourne. But yeah, these are the super cool ones. And when I, when I found these, they were both together. As I was saying before, these have crazy, crazy detailing in this one. This probably has one of the most crazy details of the lot of them. It's got the, all the stars around. This is the front and then it's got the patch. Look at the detail on the patch of this one. 95 USA. It's also got the number on the side as well. And I'll show you the back in a second. It's also two-toned as well, which people love. But this is uh, Kingston Lions Adidas with the big three on the back. Um, love the detailing on this one, which I'm going to probably be saying a lot because all the detailing on this stuff is crazy. And yeah, super crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Next one's just a quarter zip Adidas Olympic sweater. Um, this is an 88. So this is the front. I love the colors on this one. I love the back. And this also have, has um, the Adidas sleeve hit as well. So pretty much in all these sweaters, I'm gonna go through a lot of the detailing of the sweaters, just because you don't really see it too often anymore. Even in the 90s sweaters, there wasn't this much detail. As you can see, there's an Olympic badge there. Super cool. But then it's also got all the colors on the inside. Um, but yeah, this is cool. Most of these, our Olympic sweaters, as you can see, a lot of big embroidery and a lot of good colors. Um, this is a big size as well and a quarter zip, so a lot of people will be after that. The thing I sort of like about all these Adidas sweaters is they're all sort of completely different. Um, as you can see, this has just got a star and then it's got the Olympics, but all these designs were super thought out, which I really like. Um, this was a front and back as well. I love the colors on this one. I love the star, whatever. This is a Swedish flag. Um, this is another Winter Olympics one, which is cool as well. Um, also got the detailing on the arms. That's the front. This next Adidas sweater is a bit unusual. It's not embroidered like the other ones. This one's embossed, but the, um, the heaviness, maybe you can't, can't really see on the YouTube, but the heaviness on this one, it's, it's a pretty heavy sweater. Super boxy as well. Um, love the colors, love the red on this one. Um, love the emboss, it's sort of a different emboss than um, any normal sweaters. Um, but this has got the classic um, sleeve hits, which most of these Adidas sweaters do. That's why they're so expensive, um, because they've got a lot of detail on them. And a lot of people are after them, so there's not like that many that were ever sort of made. That's why they're so sought after and so rare. That's why it's been hard to collect these over the years. How much do these things cost? So pretty much um, value of most of these sweaters even costs, yeah. The value of most of these sweaters go from around 300 to about $500, depending on the size and how rare it is. Um, like this is just another basic one with the big, big old school logo. Um, they're all mostly on this um, silver tag. So this is the 90s tag for, um, the 90s tag for all Adidas stuff. Um, so most of these are all on the 90s tag for the Adidas stuff. That's a cool one. Big embroidery. I've got a lot of questions. I've had a lot of questions over the years asking for this one. Just because of the crazy fade on it. And it's like a large or XL or like double XL. So it's pretty huge. I was going to keep this one as well. But I'm going to put it up. Just for one of you guys. Um, this is a cool front print. Nice colours. And just the... Um, just the Canadian sign and obviously the sleeve hits. I'll just show you guys all the detailing. 
on every single garment as well. But yeah, that's super cool. That's dated 88. So this next one, this is the Grail of Grails. This is the Run DMC um, Adidas sweater. This is the rarest of the rare. You never see these in the whole time I've ever um, been doing this vintage game. I've seen two ever. One of them's here and one of them was in a shop and they're trying to sell it for about 1,500, which I almost brought as well. Um, this one's a bit um, like, has a lot of wear in it, but I love the, the wear about it. I think I'm gonna keep this one to put in the store as a display just because of the rarity of it. And I've only ever seen two in 10 years. Um, and I brought this for a lot of money as well. So it'll be nice to have a um, full frame in the store. But crazy fucking detailing on this one. Crazy detailing. This is the most rarest Adidas sweater there is. If you're a fan of hip hop, you'll see them um, run DMC. They were wearing these sweaters when they were doing the video clips and stuff. But yeah, crazy cracking print on the brat back. One of the rarest Adidas sweaters there is. So the next one, we just got this big, big logo Adidas sweater. Um, I really like these big logo Adidas sweater. It's sort of like a, I don't know, it's sort of like a rugby tier, a long, lot, like thick long sleeve. Um, but yeah, this is a super nice one. It was just like that black one before, just the big, big logo. And just the detailing on it's really nice as well. So the next one about this one, this is probably, also probably one of the rarest ones of the drop. This is a cycling Adidas one, which you don't see too often. It's a funny story how I got this one. Some dude just DM'd me personally on my Instagram. And he was just like, oh yeah, I'm leaving the country. I need to sell it. Got it for the cheap, cheap. And I was super lucky. Crazy colors. Um, everyone's after this sort of cycling. Well, this cycling stuff is, um, you don't really see it too often. So it's like hard to get. I've only seen a few of these around also. Um, they don't really come on the market too often. So this one's gonna be a sick one. This one's not as rare, but I love the patterns on it. It's crazy patterns. Got the stripy arms on both sides. Got the stripy things um, throughout the sweater. There's a few stars in there. You're a star if you're gonna buy this one. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this one. It's just a nice little kayak front and back. The detailing on this one's nice. Um, but yeah, this one's crazy. Cool little kayak vibes on the front and back. The detailing on that one's sick. Now we're going to the, probably the better stuff that's going to be probably the more sort of rare premium items that are going to be in this Adidas drop. This is a really cool color. Everyone's after this color at the moment, but it's super unusual. Um, it's got the Adidas with the three lines that everyone loves. Got the embroidery on the sleeves. Just the color and the size of this one's really good. So people will be after that. And the detailing on it. This one's going to be a super hard one to let go just because of how crazy it is. So this is the UK um, Olympic Games. So this is the front of it. So it's pretty much, as you can see, it's a fl full flag. It's the front, then it's got the arm hits. And then, yeah, got the back, super detailed. I love the fonts of the Adidas with the black and the red. Um, but yeah, this is a super cool one and it's a really good size as well. I think this will probably be a pretty hard one to get your hands on if you're gonna try to cop it on the drop. What I really like about sort of these Adidas sweaters is there's some real unusual ones like this. Um, this is just like a mountain explore one. I love the two tones on it, but it's just got some two random dudes. And the most thing I love about this sweater is the detailing in this patch. It's a mountain Adidas. Honestly, really cool. The detailing on all of this stuff's crazy. They would have spent a lot of money trying to make all these types of sweaters. Next one, we've got a tennis one. So these are all sort of different variations. So there's tennis, Olympics, there's just some like normal sport ones, but this is a tennis one. ATP, Adidas, tennis, tennis team. So this must be a team, team Adidas um, um, crew note. This is a 90s one as well, front and back. Um, this is, the last sort of individual one of the drop, sort of like those other three, um, the black one, the green one. Um, this has just got a bigger embroidery, nicer arm hits, um, cool colors on this one as well. 
So those are all pretty much the individual sweaters. Um, I fell in love with all of those just because how individual they were. Some of those are super collectible, like the cycling one, um, that UK one that you saw, that kayaking one, the ones with a lot of detail are super, um, super rare and super premium. Um, and they're going to be super hard for me to let go just because they're so hard to find in the first place. Um, but moving on to these last ones, these are just the Winter Olympics ones and the Olympics ones. So they're the same as this. Um, crazy embroidery on the front and crazy embroidery on the back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five of these because I'm going to keep this one. Um, then we got this one, which is probably one of the most sort of common ones, but the most sought after just because everyone loves a white sweater. Who doesn't love a white sweater? Um, but yeah, I'll pick one out for you guys. Just the crazy detailing on the back, like I was saying before, the colors, the Olympic rings, it's literally got everything. So it's got one, two, both sleeve hits with the US team. It's got the other sleeve hit as well. And then it's just got the back embroidery too. Which is crazy. But yeah, this is pretty much all that's gonna be in the drop. I think there's five of these ones as well. Um, there's around 25 sweaters. This is probably gonna be our craziest Tyler's collection yet. But yeah, don't make sure you don't miss out. 7 p.m. August 1st. Olympic Adidas sweater drop. Craziest drop yet. So a lot of you guys have been asking about how we find our inventory and how we manage it as well. So we're gonna be making a video in a few weeks time just as we see all your guys' questions in the comments. So if you wanna comment um, what you guys wanna see on this YouTube channel, um, whether it's vintage, whether it's my life, whatever, um, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, make sure you comment what you want, but yeah. See you next week.